What's up, Tampa Banana here? And I'm losing my mind. If I haven't already lost it. Uh, Minecraft, Skyblock, but right now in creative. I'm filling in this uh, whole area because I'm gonna dig it out. <laughs> so it feels a little bit pointless, but yeah, you know. All things in life are pointless, I guess. We just live until we die. And then it's goodbye. Then it turned dark. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. So it's nice. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. And I only work four times. Oh, four times. I only worked four times tomorrow. <laughs> what the hell? Sorry, English. Uh, hard. Not my native language. I said it a lot, but I'm going to say it again because that's my excuse. But anyway, uh, I only work four hours tomorrow, which is nice. And then I'm uh, free until Wednesday. That's fucking awesome. I don't want to. I don't have to go to work. I don't want to go to work either until uh, Wednesday again. So that's really, really nice. I'm hoping that the weather will be okay. So I can go out and maybe try to take some more photo, photo, <laughs> photos with my cell phones because I don't have an actual camera anymore because it broke. I throw a disc golf on it or free speed golf, whatever uh, disc, whatever you call it on it. I don't pl uh, play professional frisbee in any way. So uh, yes. I managed to do that and it wasn't even near the, the uh, hole or goal, whatever you call it, but it perfectly landed on the trigger button on my camera and broke it and then I couldn't use the camera because there was no other button to press to take the picture, which is sad, rest in peace camera. And I don't have enough money to buy a new one. Unless I uh, walk the street. And I think I will have to walk the street pretty much to buy a new camera. Yes, sorry, Bob. That's my story. Uh, hopefully I can take some pictures with my cell phones. That would be nice. Maybe do some photoshopping. If not, I'm gonna do it on my vacation. I can take a lot of Focus. I think I will order some more uh, pictures also, regular photos, real photos, IRL photos. Uh, I like, still like to have those. Uh, now when everything is dig digital, I sort of like to uh, keep some things analog. One thing that would be awesome to have is uh, I have this uh, what's it called now uh, view master uh, which is basically the thing you put the little round uh, photo things in so you can see sort of I guess it should be three dimensional pic three dimensional pictures but I have a problem in my eyesight so I can't see uh, depth of field in the same way so. No 3D for me. 
loser loser uh, but yeah so uh, i can't see 3d but i really liked that old stuff uh, i had one of those when i was a kid with like disney mickey mouse or something like that and uh, i've tried to find one and couldn't find one for the longest of times uh, just because i looked for one and then uh, all of a sudden my mom uh, bought one at a flea market and then uh, just a couple of days later i found another one with a lot more of those uh, round uh, photo thingamabobs i don't know what they're called and so yeah now i have two of them and a lot of those photos but it would be awesome to uh, be able to make your own versions if you could sort of order it on some photo store thing and maybe there is somewhere you could do it but not uh, somewhere i could find in sweden that delivers or you could order in sweden i don't know I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, uh, 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 uh. but it would have been cool to uh, have your own version of that. I guess it's the, you could have your, the digital version, I guess, they, they made a digital version of that, but I think you put, you just put your uh, cell phone in or something, but yeah, it's not the same thing, I feel like, I want to, I want the real stuff that uh, don't you don't need any batteries, anything. You could just put it in and it works. Point it at the sun or a candle or a uh, light bulb or whatever. And you see a beautiful picture. Sort of. I also would like to make my own, uh, what's it called? Uh, what is that called? Uh, it's not. Is it lenticular? That is uh, more. Uh, some of those. Some of. One of those. I can't remember which name it is. But yeah, the the ones where you sort of have two pictures in one, um, depending on how you angle the the photo. You sort of have two photos in one. I would like to make a lot of those with my own design, but the uh, same thing doesn't seem to uh, be anything uh, easily available in Sweden. Unless you order like uh, from outside of Sweden and you would like order uh, 10,000 or 1,000 of them. And I only want like maybe two of each. If I have one in spare, but... Uh, yeah, that's a problem. But, uh, not really a big problem, but uh, it would, be, would have been nice, as I said. There's a lot of diamond here now. I'm putting in a lot of diamond. I think I will try to make some on my Tompa Banana Creates channel. I think I will make some uh, photo cubes, sort of make the similar motives or uh, whatever you call it, uh, motives, uh, motifs, or, uh, well, uh, <laughs> something French. Um, same, uh, similar looking photos and glue them to a uh, wood cube i'm sort of looking at different alternatives online because i don't want to pay a lot of money for it just because i'm gonna i'm not gonna have it as a child toy with uh, uh, placing blocks on each other i'm gonna glue photos to it so it doesn't really need to be perfect but uh, yeah the only thing is that it's nice to sort of bulk order a lot of them so we could have 
all the photos in the same size because then I could just order some photos from uh, Fuji Center and I guess cut, cut them to length and width, width. Uh, but yeah you sort of don't have 10 different sizes I guess I guess I could make the cubes myself also but I don't really have the greatest of tools for it so there is a slight chance that they will be like a millimeter off and will be a millimeter bigger and that would I feel like annoy me so yeah I think I will just try to order some <laughs> wood cubes online there were these smaller ones that uh, sort of was like in if there were a hundred of them or a fifty of them or something that was uh, two by two centimeters, so uh, that would be very small pictures, but it could be kind of cool in one sense because then I could just uh, use an exacto knife to cut them to the, the correct proportions and glue them on there with some spray-on glue. I think it's kind of cool to make different, not just have regular photographs. I feel like it's more interesting if you have different stuff. I've experimented with using uh, or making uh, sort of shape puzzles, puzzles and uh, regular puzzles and stuff with my own photos. I think that's kind of fun to make. I also experiment with making my own t-shirt designs and stuff, which I still uh, use. They are getting worn out, but yeah, I guess I have to make some new ones. I have this idea of making one with uh, a, fr a friend of mine. He's always uh, uh, telling this story and we, of course, tell him to come on, tell the story, tell the story as, as soon as there's a new person in the group we sort of demand him to tell the story because it's so <laughs> gets so awkward uh, but it, yeah it's basically you probably heard the story about two hikers and they sort of get tired of each other so they walk uh, different directions and meet up again and tell what they did what they found and one of them went up uh, this beautiful valley and yada 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 and the other one tells that he uh, met this uh, or saw this beautiful girl tied to uh, the train tracks and he sort of rescued her and uh, uh, he had passionate sex and whatever whatever and the other guy asked if he got a blowjob and uh, then the guy answers no I didn't find her head so yeah kind of nasty story <laughs> And depending on what the people, uh, how the people are on the party, it sort of can get really awkward uh, uh, in the room. Yeah, usually people just laugh, but sometimes it uh, can get really awkward, which is kind of funny, I feel like. Uh, yeah, thinking of making sort of a version of that uh, on a t-shirt, but uh, my friend, drawing my friend as uh, driving this tr uh, this train and having a girl tied to the train tracks and another dude trying to rescue her and then uh, a... Uh, I guess me as the villain that tied the girl to the train tracks and uh, another friend of mine uh, sort of um, blowing up a safe so so it, so it's sort of meant to uh, be like uh, the sheriff is trying to save the girl 
and while he's doing that we rob the bank sort of and uh, the a friend of mine driving the train he's basically just driving the train because he's gonna go fuck the princess which is uh, sort of the rapunzel in a i think she's called right uh, sitting in the the tower so i have this image in my head that i sort of gonna try to get out there in a t-shirt format i would probably not <laughs> dare to uh, have it on because uh, i don't know uh, in this kind of climate in sweden where everything is sexist i might uh, get a lot of looks but yeah it would be fun to make it but uh, yeah i haven't gotten around to it yet at least so uh, i have only only thought of it like a week ago or maybe two weeks ago or something like that so uh, i'm gonna try to eventually make it into a drawing i guess try to at least i feel like it's sort of fun everything going on at the same time so it will be a challenge to fit everything into the picture without making it look crowded and at the same time not uh, make it too small because then it's no fun if you have to sort of stare at my chest to see what's going on so to speak so yeah i have a lot of ideas like that but usually it's so so such uh, it's sort of hard to uh, get them to be realized or make them real. At one time I sort of uh, wrote everything down and I had this uh, basically notepad full of ideas. So uh, yeah, I have a lot of ideas. I'm not saying they are good, but I have a lot of ideas. Uh, yeah. Maybe one gold block near could be nice near the entrance. Well, maybe not that close, maybe here somewhere. I don't want to be too lazy about it. And maybe some dirt here just to annoy me. And I guess cover it up like this. Now I can still go out that way. I'm just gonna fill that in later. Now I can sort of cover this area up also. Do -do 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 and some iron here. Now I'm getting really lazy, but yeah. There's a lot of cobblestone in the way, so yeah, I feel like it's gonna work either way. So I usually, when I have uh, stuff I want to keep, like photographs and stuff, I usually put it in sort of like a chest. I have a lot of, uh, I think it's called chests. It sounds like depressing because I think of a chest you put people in, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> funeral chest maybe is the correct word. A chest you put people in. That's uh, yeah, that's a good description, right? But whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I say that a lot. I know. But 
not as much as uh, what's up guys but yeah uh, I think it's kind of nicer to have everything collected like that so I actually built some of my own chest boxes with lids stuff uh, where I put some stuff in it like photographs and uh, drawings and all kind of stuff because uh, I sort of have the rule that because I'm sort of a uh, hoarder I, I don't know if that's correct word but yeah just, I sort of collect stuff easily collect stuff and just so it won't get too much I usually throw some stuff away but uh, the bad part with that is that sometimes I throw away stuff a little bit too easily so just so I won't throw away things that I will regret throwing away I sort of take uh, photographs out of everything I, at least everything I created so in case I made a, make a table and I get tired of that table and I know that nah, no one else will have that, want to have that table it's just a kind of weird design that only I like or probably I only I would like etc I usually just throw it away but before I throw it away I usually take a photograph or a couple of photographs of it so in case I years later want to oh right I had this table I can't really remember how it looked but I know it's that and that I can sort of have that photo and oh right the memory comes back and I can even remember how I created it using photos like that but uh, yeah so that's one thing but the other thing is that I usually have the rule that if it's in these chests I sort of have the rule to keep it a lot of if a lot of weird rules in my life I know but yeah it's kind of fun also um, so yeah I can't throw it away uh, easily throw it away that is and then sort of regret it because uh, yeah even if it's just material things you sort of get get attached to it I feel like and some of the things is actually memories for me because I don't know why but I have really bad memory I can sort of not <laughs> sometimes I can't even remember what the hell I was doing the day before maybe it's because I have a boring life maybe it's because I'm doing a lot of small stuff in my life I don't know but yeah sometimes I can sort of because I usually take photographs of everything I do also or try to it could it can be kind of funny to just uh, check back and uh, check what I did uh, 2019 and remember oh right I built that thing I can't even remember that I almost can't remember that I built it but uh, yeah I built that like a table or a, uh, whatever um, something something so it's kind of fun to have that as memories the photographs as memories when my own memory is kind of failing me for some reason and some of the stuff I re really rarely uh, look at but uh, yeah it doesn't take much place time or uh, time uh, doesn't really take up much uh, what's it called place uh, take up much space <laughs> I try to find a word uh, doesn't take up much space so uh, yeah if uh, if women are allowed to have like 50 pair of shoes then I'm allowed to have some more a memorable a personal uh, memories I guess that's the rule 
Want me to get rid of my personal uh, memories? Then get rid of your shoes. <gasps> get rid of your shoes! But I haven't used them in 10 years, but uh, they are valuable to me. Yeah. Just as my memories then. Biatch! Just joking around here. I don't have a girlfriend. As you could probably imagine. Playing Minecraft in the middle of the day. Angrily uh, annoying the Minecraft people. What the hell do you mean by that? Something wrong with that? No, you didn't say that. I haven't, still haven't uh, gotten to the store and uh, picked up my TV, or uh, TVD, I won't say TVD, Blu-ray burner and my external hard drive. It arrived uh, today, so I should, uh, I think I should pick it up because, uh, yeah, I don't have the, I have the time, of course I have tomorrow, but yeah, it will be logistically more annoying so uh, but yeah at the same time i need to make a tompa banana creates video before this day is over and it's uh, almost 1700 hours i'm gonna eat dinner soon so the question is what should i do for tompa banana creates channel that's the question i don't know I would like to. I'm watching this channel on uh, Tom Banana Crates. What? Uh, let's try that again. Uh, in the arts and crafts area, I'm watching this channel that is called Yasa or something like that. And he does a lot of different art stuff. And he made a video with bleach, and I totally want to try that, but yeah, I don't have any bleach at home, so I need to buy that in that case, and I don't think I have the strength to do that video today, so we will see what I will do today. I think I have to do something different, because I made uh, digital art in Photoshop two days in a row now, so yeah. Uh, Getting kind of boring, getting kind of boring, getting kind of boring. Yes, sir, Bob. But yeah, I don't know. I have to do something at least. Maybe the regular drawing, but yeah, I'm tired today. I don't know. Hmm. I'm a cranky boy. I have a lot of ideas, but uh, yeah, most of them involve actually uh, putting down some real work or real work, but yeah, you know what I mean, some effort and uh, I'm too tired for that today. I'm too lazy for that today, I should say, not too tired, I'm too lazy, too lazy boy, I'm a lazy boy. Move it. Uh, I have to read uh, or read whatever you call it, uh, scan and uh, put in, put them into the system in Fort Knox. Some uh, 
bills and stuff at work tomorrow and I feel like that's I, I hate all that administrative stuff because I feel like it's so fucking boring. Oops. Hang on. What the hell? Come on. Move it. Uh, but yeah, that's a part of my job. So uh, yeah, suck it up, bitch, and do it. But yeah, I feel like all the administrative stuff is... Ugh. <laughs> I'm complaining a lot, I know, but yeah. At least you have a job, you ungrateful fucker. I've been pushing it forward. A long time now so yeah I really need to get it done before they start complaining. I think they will do that soon if I don't get it done. And I want to make sure everything of like that is done before I go on vacation because uh, yeah they, they could fix it in like five seconds but I feel like it's my job I should do it not them. I It's sort of a weird situation because I'm, I'm sort of getting paid, or I, I'm sort of getting paid, I'm, I am getting paid, but uh, because of my difficulties, I uh, they get uh, money for me, so they sort of like, I get salary from them, but they get money back from the, from the state, I guess, whatever you call it, and, uh, but they uh, are all, what do you call it? Uh, not getting paid at all because they are it's like a I, I can't I don't know the name in English <laughs> man it's hard to talk about this stuff when you can't say the words you want to say but uh, yeah um, basically I'm getting paid but uh, they get money back some some of the money back I think like 60 percent or something like that so they pay 40 percent for me uh, the not the it's not a company, it's sort of like athletes club, uh, but the people that's in the me members of the board are uh, not getting any money at all. So I can't really put demands on them. All right, at least I try not to because that's not cool. Because they don't get paid. They usually, it's basically you put in the work because you have kids in the athletes club that's basically basically it so you want the best for your kids so you support them by helping them do work in some sense but I'm getting paid but uh, at the same time, I'm cleaning toilets and doing administrative things and yeah, a lot of different stuff. So yeah, don't think they would found, find one that would do that for free. So yeah. Well, maybe they could, but they haven't found one yet because then I would be fired. My ass would be in fired. Fired, 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 fired. Nah, I think they... Are pretty pleased with me overall even my cranky ass but yeah uh, yeah but yeah it would be nice to have everything done when my vacation stops stops <laughs> when my vacation stops when my vacation starts so at least I uh, my uh, brain ghosts Ghosts, my brain can relax and don't think about stuff like that. Paying bills at work or uh, uh, members that they need to be put into the system or uh, fixing uh, what's it called tags, uh, the things that open the door. I can't think of the English word for it, but yeah. ID tag thingamabob. So 
So yeah, that's it, you know. Rambling on, he's rambling on. Can he shut the fuck up? No, he can't because he refuses to. I'm talking about the voice in my head, if you're wondering. Just kidding. I'm totally normal. To to totally normal. Yes, totally normal. Yes. <laughs> one little single slime still uh, refusing to go away If I remember where I put these, I will be so amazed because I have no clue where any of these are. I know there's a diamond here somewhere in that area around there because I put it near the glass. I think it's in that area, some of the corners at least. There is a diamond. So yeah, that's all I know right now. Can I just... I can't... Ah, uh, can I just... Yeah, I can do that. Okay, good. Just to annoy my future self by putting in a lot of gravel. So in an earlier episode I was talking about uh, some weird stuff I did just for fun, uh, like uh, ordering or uh, writing a letter to Swedish police just ordering what they have on me and they didn't have anything on me but basically it said that uh, if they had anything they couldn't release it so it was kind of funny to just show that document to friends at a party or something, yeah you're a tourist Tompa. Uh, we all know it, <laughs> sort of like uh, a government uh, uh, sort of um, for the safety. Of, yeah, I can't remember what he said, but yeah, basically, basically meaning that if they had something, they couldn't release it because of due to safety, sort of. 
But uh, I remember another thing I did was uh, I didn't get an answer. That's kind of uh, not uh, really uh, that surprising, but it would have been <laughs> awesome if it actually would so uh, answered me. I wrote a <laughs> I wrote a handwritten letter. I think it was handwritten to uh, Quentin Tarantino and said that he should make a movie. <laughs> this is so silly. I can't remember all the details because it was like I think it's more more than ten years ago. Uh, but uh, make a movie uh, with him as a star and uh, Jennifer Aniston as his wife. And there was something about. Uh, can't remember all the details, but uh, yeah, you basically they were a couple, and uh, there were some other stuff in there, but I can't remember. But yeah, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've sort of impulse driven sometimes. So if it, sometimes I do things just for fun, and uh, usually it's. Uh, not uh, resulting into anything, but uh, yeah, sometimes it is. I remember uh, uh, just sitting at home, boring uh, uh, Saturday night. I was checking some traveling programs and saw this woman that I thought was kind of hot, hot, nice looking, beautiful, whatever you call it. And uh, sort of looked up her name and uh, it was some email address you could contact her on so I just uh, wrote that uh, I really I have, had never seen her before I, that was the first uh, time I saw the program but I basically wrote like a really <laughs> sleazy like uh, oh I really think uh, you're a very talented um, sort of uh, what's it called when you uh, uh, not produce? Um, oh, I'm trying to remember the word. Uh, basically, when you uh, host, well, let's call it host. I, there's a better name for it, but I can't remember it right now. Um, that you're a terrific host and you're very talented, yada, yada, yada. So uh, then I actually got an autographed photo. But it, the f f thing was that uh, it, of course, it because it, I think it was in America somewhere. It takes some time to for the both for her to read my email and then to have ans uh, to have time to answer and uh, and then for it to arrive here. So it took uh, a lot of time, and uh, by then, with my memory, I sort of have forgotten that I even did that so when there comes a hand written letter and uh, with a post stamp outside of um, or post uh, or oh, stamps stamps uh, outside of Sweden I was uh, thinking what the hell did I do now <laughs> this is scary but uh, yeah then it uh, was just that so uh, that was kind of funny uh, Nice of her to uh, actually write something at least. Uh, so I actually kept that somewhere. That's kind of nice. <laughs> so uh, yeah, do a lot of random stuff and I get bored. Which is kind of funny afterwards. When you have a collection of different weird stuff. Collecting dust, I guess, but yeah, whatever. some more iron iron I'm losing my voice I'm talking too much shut the fuck up 
Okay then. No. I refuse. I will section it off like this if I can, just to sort of keep it one section at a time. So goddamn big area, so kind of rough to take it all in one go. Yeah, what's the time? Maybe I should end the video. I need to. Go get my hard drive, uh, external hard drive and Blu-ray uh, burner and then uh, create a Tompa Banana Crates video. And then eat something. And then sleep, I guess. And then work four hours. Then I um, have a long vacation, I was about to say, but yeah, long uh, weekend at least. Long weekend ahead of me. That's nice. That's awesome. So yeah, I think that will be it for today's episode. Sorry if I'm just rambling. That's what I do. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.